Hi guys, this is just a quick video. It's unplanned. It's spur of the moment. So I'm sorry if I um, don't seem fully with it. Anyway, let's get going. I bought three Hikvision cameras, IP cameras, off someone on um, online, the second hand. They arrived. They look great. The problem is, is they were asking for a password. Now the guy ignored me he wouldn't get back to me with a password I was about to just put them in the cupboard and think I'd got ripped off and then I came across this process where you can flash your IP camera and when you flash your IP camera it wipes it so you can then set a new password this is what I did guys there's a software called TFTP which I will link down below in the description I will also link some instructions down there but we'll go through it now guys just the process that I did I can't link you the firmware because all your cameras might be different um, but if you need help finding some firmware I'll um, I'll tell you what I'll post the link down below with lots of firmwares as well okay guys now let's get going so what you want to do right you want to download your firmware my firmware was already this name <coughs> but if your firmware is not that name and it'll be in a zip folder so you'll have to zip open the zip extract this file if it's not that name rename it to that put this file in the same folder as the TFTP files which you will download from below so you'll extract this folder and then put this into that folder now you must stay connected to your internet right so obviously you're on your internet what you must do next is rename your IP address to this so I'll show you, I'll try and show you an example of that now. Um, let's see. Control panel, and it'll depend on your windows and everything, which menus, but I change it, adapter settings there. Right, now in there, put that IP address, 192... Uh, 00128 okay that's all you need to do it'll fill the subnet mask in there ignore this one just put it in the top one and press OK so you'll have changed your IP address now to this now at the moment your camera should not be plugged in at all right the, it doesn't matter about the camera settings now you must run this file what is in this folder <coughs> you just double click it and when you double click it a window will open like this this window here will open okay now when that windows open wait for it to 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 say the top line it'll say tftp server initialized as soon as it says that top line, I want you to take your IP camera, plug the power in, and plug it into your router using a cable. Then, it should connect to the device. Device, it should say this, at the end. But before that, it'll go through, this, this picture's a bit blurred, but it'll, it'll, it'll find the device on the second line, it'll connect to the client it'll go through it all and when it finishes it will say it's completed at that point you close down this program here and the camera will reboot and restart right, now obviously you've got to remember that you changed your computer's IP address so at this point when you've done all this now I can't remember, I have to be honest with you guys, I can't remember if I left. Actually I think, 
Right, I didn't set the computer IP address back yet. What I did first, I left the IP address as this because your camera's IP address is going to be this. So what you do then is you use Internet Explorer to go to this address. It'll open up a page asking for your you to set a new password right when you when you set a new password and everything you'll log into your camera tick DHCP right just tick the DHCP or if you know about networking set it up how you want it then then you go back change your PCI IP address back okay because if you change that back first you wouldn't be able to connect to this. So that's why. So, so what you do is this bit. Should have been down here. Okay, so basically uh, you set your PC IP address back to normal after everything. Now I'm, I'm just going to tell you a few things. I did this on three cameras, one after the other. It worked on all three. But what sometimes when that window comes up, it, it wasn't straightforward. It kept saying sending files, sending files, sending files, something like that. Now if it does that with you, just be patient. It took it kept retrying like with one of my cameras it was about a hundred times sending 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 eventually it did it the other thing I want to say is when you connect your camera to your router use a short wire don't use a long wire it can time out use a real short wire I don't know what else to, to tell you guys it worked on three of my cameras three out of three you're done now um, if you do get stuck on this, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you guys out. Right, catch you later guys.